Osteoarthritis is a disease leading to breakdown in the cartilage between joints, including the knee. Very often it's painful and can lead to swelling, stiffness, and overall joint and cartilage damage. With us today to discuss the condition many boomers, even younger men and women are facing as well, is Dr. Jess Lawner, an orthopedic surgeon from Philadelphia's Rothman Institute. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you. Let's talk about osteoarthritis briefly. What is that? Arthritis is basically a breakdown of the cartilage surfaces of the knee, and it affects millions of patients. So what causes it, and is it more prevalent in men or women? There are a lot of things that cause it. First, there's a strong hereditary component. It's written in our genes. But there are other things that can contribute it as well. So for instance, if someone's obese, mm -hmm. they put more stress and strain on the knee, that can cause arthritis. Remote injuries to the cartilage or to the ligaments of the knee can also cause arthritis. And do you see it more in men and women in your practice? Well, um, about two-thirds of our patients are actually women. Really? Yeah. I would have guessed men. Uh, which is the very common reaction, but it's, uh, it's very counterintuitive. And what have been the, let's say, traditional non-surgical options for patients who have this? There are a variety of things that can be considered a weight reduction program. And they did that to my dad. That, and that makes a lot of sense. Organized physical therapy. He did that too. Activity modification. Um, medicines like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medicines, Tylenol can be helpful, injections, and sometimes even bracing can be considered. And we did all that for my dad, so we had to then go to now a surgical option, and he actually did last year a total knee replacement. Common? Total knee replacements are very, very common. More than 600,000 are done in the United States every year. Wow. Um, but about 30% of our total knee replacement patients are actually candidates for partial knee replacement because the arthritis is much more localized to one part of the knee. So what's the difference? I mean, I can imagine what it is, but can you tell me the difference between a total and a partial? And I guess the recovery, I'm assuming, is going to be a lot easier. Oh, it is. So let me just show you a model of, this is the model of the knee, and it actually happens to have a partial knee replacement in it. If we were doing a total knee replacement, we would remove all of the cartilage surfaces of the knee. But with a partial knee replacement, we can, we can expose the joint through a smaller incision mm -hmm. and then remove only the one compartment of the knee that's affected by the arthritis. Oh. So we do this on an outpatient basis typically. Easier to do. Much easier to do. Um, although there are some caveats to that. Okay. Um, the recovery is quicker. Patients typically are off their pain medicines more quickly. They can return to work more quickly and get back in action far more quickly than they can with a total knee replacement. Now I know there have been advancements with partial knee replacements. Can we talk about that today? Sure. Uh, as attractive as partial knee replacements are to physicians and to patients, the reality is that unless they're done with great precision, the durability of a partial knee replacement may not mimic the durability of a total knee replacement. And we certainly want these to last a very long time. So one of the biggest advances that has come out in the last five years in partial knee replacements is robotic technology. And what is that? Because I know we have a video for our viewers and explain to us what's happening here. Well, basically what robotic technology is, is it's a very smart way of, of preparing the bone. We can determine in advance of surgery how much bone we want to remove, how we want to orient the parts, and it also allows us to very precisely balance the ligaments of the joint. And those three elements are contributing dramatically to the long-term success and durability of these partial knee replacements. So really making a difference for the patient, not only the next week, the next month, but long-term. Big time. Have you seen a patient that comes to mind that something like this and this advancement really was a turning point? Well, I, I've been doing surgery for nearly 20 years and using robotics for about seven or eight years. So I do have a lot of stories, but one of the uh, stories that comes to mind is that of a 67-year-old woman who was literally just in my office the other day, who within three weeks of surgery began hiking a recent mountain range near her home in New Hampshire. And she couldn't do it before. She, before that, she was hobbled with a cane couldn't enjoy playing with her grandkids, was really struggling. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for everything you do. Appreciate your time. Great information. And if you'd like more information on today's topic, go to our website. It's really easy, thebalancingact.com, or log on to Facebook forward slash thebalancingactfans.